Hey class, just wanted to show you guys how to make a quick uh, countdown climber uh, timer, but that uses keyframes to control it. So I'm going to show you really quick. So I'll make a new composition. I'll add a text layer, and you can just type just about anything in there. And I'll make it a little bigger, and you can change the text, uh, the typeface, the size, what have you. I'm just going to leave it just like this. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into effects and presets right here. I'm going to type in slider and get the slider control. I'm going to drag this slider control on top of the text layer I just made. And what that's going to do is that's going to put the slider right here under effects, the slider control. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an expression uh, that's going to be, uh, that's going to change the source text to reflect what the slider says. So I'm going to hold down Option, and that's going to let me add um, an expression, a writing expression. Uh, now I worked with a, a friend of mine who is a software programmer, and he wrote an expression that we're going to use for our demo. And you guys can copy and paste this into there. I'll make sure I include it uh, in my courses so you guys can see it. But basically, once you type, once you paste this thing to there, then you have a timer right here. And how you control it is using the key create frames of the slider down here. So basically, what it's going to do is it's going to output uh, whatever number of seconds you put in the slider control. So, uh, so let's say I want to start this thing at five minutes. Uh, I'm just going to do you know 60 seconds times five, and that's going to get me 300. And then I can use that to sort of set it to five minutes. So I'll change this to 300. So there you go. Now the timer is five minutes. So if I wanted the timer to hold position for about a second and then start counting down, what I would do is I'd move one second into the animation. And I'm going to start editing keyframes. I'll type in 300. So now it's at five minutes. And then if you want to count down, the actual amount of time that is counting down, you need to make sure that you move along the, the uh, timeline indicator as far away as you are going to change the value. So if let's say I want to count down 10 seconds, I'm going to jump ahead in the timeline 10 seconds. So I'm going to go to 11 seconds in. And then I'm just going to change this value to 290. And there we go. Let's go back to the beginning. So basically what this animation is going to do is it's going to hold for a second and then it's going to start, start counting down. And that's it. That's all it is. Um, if you, you are um, more than welcome to you know, copy this wholesale and use it for any of the um, animations you guys are making, uh, feel free to you know, play around with the slider control and the keyframes. And you can even make it do really cool things like, uh, you know, Extend up, ascend up really quickly if you need it to. So let's say I add another keyframe and I set this to zero. I can make it look like I turned a dial to set it to five minutes and then it's going to start playing. So if I ram preview that and go for it, now it's going to go up and then it'll start counting down. So it'll go up and then it'll start counting down. Okay, cool. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me and ask. Uh, and I'd be more than happy to help. All right, bye.